Hey plant gang, a native tree here to North America, sassafras. Now sassafras isn't often thought of as a home landscape tree, uh, but it is one that we find in particular in the eastern United States. Uh, nice uh, kind of matte finished uh, foliage alternately arranged on the stem. Uh, this is a plant that you'll find all through the woods of Tennessee and other places in eastern uh, North America. It can get quite large. Uh, it can be a quite large tree, uh, but you also see it in groves, kind of suckering up uh, as, as in groves. Uh, now, if you were to put one of these leaves in your mouth, uh, it would get, you would get cotton mouth very quickly. And this tree has been used to, uh, they lay it out and they dry it, and it's been used to uh, as a thickening agent for dishes like gumbo in the south. Uh, sassafras bloom is quite beautiful in the spring. It's, it's quite petite, but it can be quite beautiful. Um, the fall color of sassafras is one of the, the reasons uh, that you would notice this tree in the fall. Beautiful mosaics of reds and oranges and yellows completely cover this tree. The leaf shape is also quite interesting. Uh, you've got three distinct leaf shapes to this, uh, this tree. You've got one that looks like a fork. Uh, you've got one that looks like a mitten. And then you've got one that looks kind of like a spoon. Let's see if I can find a mitten here. Uh, not right off, but we'll show you what the mitten looks like. But uh, three distinct leaf shapes uh, on, these, on, these, on this plant. Greenish younger growth on the stems uh, is a good way to uh, look at this tree uh, and decipher this tree and, and you know, tell the difference between other plants. Uh, so sassafras, uh, great eastern North American tree, maybe not for the front yard, but one that you should know. So the camera now is focused in on the bark of a very old sassafras. And you can see as it ages, it gets gnarly and, and very deeply furrowed. Uh, now you're more likely to run into younger trees with bark that's not quite as furrowed as this one. So sassafras albitum, alternate leaf arrangement, 30 to 60 foot high, 25 to 40 foot wide, three different leaf shapes uh, to look out for, hardy from zones four through nine. Not a lot of pest and disease problems that you need to worry about. There are some emerging pests and diseases for this plant uh, that maybe you should learn about in the future. Here's a landscape tip. U.S. native with deep taproot makes transplanting large trees difficult. The swallowtail butterfly larva eat leaves. <laughs>